In today's video, we are going to be looking at color grading on your iPhone or iPad. I'll be showing you the paid app and also the free app that I use. Both have their benefits. Let's begin. So the first paid app we want to take a look at is LumaFusion. LumaFusion is a video editor, but has some very powerful color correction options within it. You have brightness, contrast, saturation, vibrance, highlight shadows, different color effects, etc. You also have access to a few LUTs that they have in there, which some of them are pretty good. Uh, and then you also have the ability to adjust how powerful that LUT or effect is on your video. And then also within the app, you have access to the Vigilette, if that's what you call it, and then a bunch of other different effects. Some of them are just kind of fun and weird. Uh, you also have a chroma key uh, option within here. And once you're done going through and adding all these effects, you can even save it as a preset to use later in the project or in other projects as well. Now, the free app on the App Store that you can use for color grading is Color Time 2.4. This app is pretty simple to use. You go ahead, you pick your footage, export it in. Now, one of the main benefits of this app is the color presets that they have built into here. Because when you actually take a look at some of these presets, they are there are some really good presets on here that look really cinematic. I actually use some of these in my video on how to make cinematic footage on a $0 budget. Which, if you want to see those results, I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch. But not only do you have access to these presets, but you can also adjust the shadows, midtones, highlights, contrast, saturation, and crop. And then within each of those, you can also adjust the color of the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So overall, it's a really great free app and highly recommended, especially sometimes you're on a time crunch, you need to do some simple color grading, you can go ahead and throw on a preset real quick, export it out, and add it to your timeline. That's all I got for you today. We'll see you guys in the next video.